30 slider. If you want a slider inside your app, you can use the slider widget. You use the value to display the current value, the unchange it to have a new value when you move the slider, the set state to set the new current value, and then you use a minimum and a maximum value. You want a list of deletable item, you can use the chips widget. For this, you use the label to have the name, the avatar to have the avatar, and then you can use the undeleted function in order to delete some item. You want to create specific proportion for any widget. For this, use the aspect ratio. You give him a child and an aspect ratio, and you change the proportion as much as you want. You are making the UI of your app, and you are not sure how you will handle one widget. You can use the placeholder. And then you can add a certain height, a color, and a thickness of the line. You can change the language of your app with the Flutter localization and Intel package. And you can change the local English for Spanish. And then you will have your application in Spanish. You want to pop up like this in your app, use the Flutter Toes package. You just need inside your OnPress the Flutter Toes and the message. It will look like this. You can add the background color, the text color, and the font size to have a different pop-up. You want to add a package inside your Flutter app, then use popspec assist, use add dependency, and start to write your package. We will use the provider. And you can see it is installed. You would like to have better comments in your app, use the better comments extension to have different color of comments. If you need a delay before the next event, then use future.delay with a duration. Then the app will wait before continuing on the next event. You can control your team inside the material app with the team mode. You can change it for dark, by example, to have the dark team. Everything is controlled with the team and the dark team. To animate your application in 3D, you can use the transform widget. Inside, you use the transform and the matrix 4, and you can use the gesture detector in order to move the app or any widget. This is the grid view widget, and you can change the cross axis count in order to have different number of columns. What if you would like to have the space not at the end, but between the first and the second widget? For this, you could use the spacer. The spacer will do just that. But if you want to create just a separator between two widgets, you could use the divider and you can change the color and the thickness of this divider. Have you ever wanted to launch a website from your app? For this, you can use the URL launcher and you will use a function that will launch the URL. To get an image from your phone into your app, then for this, use the image picker. It is simple. You create a function that will get the image from the gallery or the camera, and then you set the image file that you will display into the container. You are not sure what are the best practices for the UI of your app? Then go on material.io. You will find a lot of best practices to do, and this website is really helpful. Adding strings inside a text is not a good practice. Instead, you should use the interpolation. You use the dollar sign, and you wrap the variable with the curly bracket. This function triggered three print. But did you know that you could use the cascade operator instead? And this will do the same thing. You can use the image preview extension in order to see any of your image on the side. This is what we call the list wheel scroll view. You can also change the diameter ratio. Maybe you want to have scrollable page inside your app. Then for this, use the page view. And you can also change the scroll direction to be vertical like this. On the web, let's say you have something like a dot and you want to display an element when you go over. For this, you can wrap the dot with the mouse region. You can give it a certain cursor and you can add the unenter and unexit. And this is what it will look like. Now, let's say you want to add some transparency for the banner in order to see the title. You could wrap the image with the opacity widget and give it an opacity. What happens if your text is too long to be print? For this, you can use the log instead and it will print everything. Just make sure to add the Dart developer import. Also, if you want to trigger only one thing inside a function, you can use the expression function and it will do just the same. But if you would like to have a scrollable bottom app bar, you could use the draggable scrollable sheet for this and you can put the minimum and maximum size and then you add inside the builder the bottom app bar. If you want to refresh your application with new data, you can wrap your widgets with the refresh indicator. And then you have the on refresh that will trigger a future function. The bottom navigation bar can be boring sometimes. If you want to create this, you can use the curved navigation bar. And it is pretty simple. You use the curved navigation bar, you add the background color, the items which are the icons, and then you have the on tap function with the index. Will you like to create transition like this? If yes, 
then use the liquid swipe package. And then you just need to use the liquid swipe widget and inside you can put all your scaffolds. And it looks just like this.